Hello everybody, I'm going to make another video on the fly and I do a lot of over overhead shots with my camera you know showing how to do things, tutorials and stuff like that and it, it just gets hard to get the camera where I want it you know I'm just using a little Kodak ZI8 you know so it, the LCD screens on the back and I have to use a handheld mirror to try to get things positioned and then turn it on so I'm going to go through a process here on what I'm going to make and I think it's going to work out but uh, this light I have laying on the ground, you know, is just a desk lamp that would clamp onto the end that you could move around and articulate it. I'm going to repurpose this and take the, the bulb and the hat off the top of it and the cord, and I'm going to turn it into a camera mount that I can swivel around and adjust. And to mount the camera itself, I was in Wholesale Tool a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I just happened to, my eyes landed on these PosiLock uh, systems, which are for, you know, putting coolant where you want it on a, on a machine tool and I believe this was about eight dollars and eighty cents for this whole whole area here it came with a few tips uh, a couple of threaded connectors that are two different sizes and I'm going to utilize both of these and one of them will have in a block this and this will be snapped to it and I'll figure out a way to mount this actually to the camera and I can be able, I can articulate the camera any way I want without having to loosen up any screws or anything. And the second one I'm going to have in it is going to be to hold some form of a small mirror that I need to locate, uh, so I can just glance up at it and then set my camera and be able to periodically look up and make sure I'm still in the shot. Because sometimes I shoot videos and. I go through 10 or 15 minutes of recording and then I find out that the camera's been nudged or bumped and then I have to do it all over again, so it's a hassle. Uh, I don't really have a plan here, I just have an idea in my head, which is why I'm filming it in this manner. And I'll just, you know, as I go through steps, I'll show you what I'm doing and, and how it's going to progress. Alright, well I took the, the bulb and the electrical cord out of the light and I went ahead and just made everything. So I'm just going to show all the pieces and then I'll put them together and, you know, show how it, how it turned out. Uh, this little mechanism right here that I'm focusing on, uh, this one little part, it, it was kind of rounded right here, and that was on the side of the light. So I took it, took it off, and I just set it down and hammered it flat. So I'm going to use, I'm repurposing this, and the rest of this stuff is just the mechanism, you know, that holds everything together. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. So what I did is I took a piece of 5/8 square aluminum and right here and here I've pierced and tapped two holes to hold this mounting bracket here and I'm just using you know a, like hard drive screws out of a computer that'll hold this on uh, and in each end because it came with these two fittings and they were different sizes and these are both pipe threads by the way uh, you know I, I, I made appropriate threads on either end of this for those so I'll just go ahead and you know put these in here real quick there's one there's two I'm gonna just kind of assemble this thing as we're going just get on here and tighten these up one and two so there we go and then while we're here I'll just go ahead and put this on probably cut some of this out but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway okay so now you can see where I'm going with this part right here so that's it made and on this one of these is the full length and I have two pieces right here that I'm not gonna put on yet because I've done something to them so going to snap that on. This is going to be the arm that holds the camera and I'm going to snap this one that came off the section of the other side. I'm only using one like so. And what I did is I popped off both of the ends and I threaded a 5 16 thread in here, maybe 18 pitch, I, I can't really remember, but I just threaded through that one portion. And what that is for is I've taken two uh, pieces of hex rod 
and they are different you know but these threads here on the end are the same and they'll actually screw into this now and I can lock that in place and I'll go ahead and just put both of them in here now the other side of these threads the length and the thread pitch itself is obviously different and there's a reason for that okay so now we have these locked in place the short one uh, you know I, I'm actually using at least temporarily but it seems like it's gonna work out this is just a shaving mirror uh, you know and uh, I just matched the thread on this so I can just spin this in here I'll give it a little lock down and that's that and this will actually snap on this side so now I have a mirror that I can articulate and I only needed a couple of joints you know because it, it doesn't really need a bunch of length or you know huge range of motion because I've got all kinds of movement in here so that's that side this other side is the quarter I think it's a quarter 20 thread and that's what screws up in the bottom of the camera and I'm repurposing from my original mount this little thumb wheel here so this will go on like so the camera screws on here and then I can jam that jam it with this and lock it in place so this one goes here so that is the whole unit right there in a nutshell well what I needed to do is be able to mount this thing to something and it you know it has a little bench clamp or a desk clamp and I, I'll still use that like if I'm sitting here doing a shot uh, but I do shots over my lathe you know and things like that overhead and it's a real hassle to get in there I mean like right now I'm kind of using the same type of principle uh, where I've got another little rig that's actually mounted to you know my magnifying light and it, it is really hard to get things right so this piece here is what I made it's just a square piece uh, I've drilled a hole in one side of it and that's that allows the light to fit down in it and pivot and the other side is the same quarter by 20 thread or whatever it is that will actually mount to my tripod. Uh, that should be a pretty standard thread. So in a nutshell, that is the whole unit right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, put it all together on the tripod and I'm going to shoot the next clip actually with my uh, uh, phone. So, you know, it may not be quite the clarity and quality, but you know, at least I'll be able to show you exactly what it looks like and how it articulates. So let me get set up on that and then I'll show you the finished rig. Okay, product. well, here's a shot of the finished rig. Uh, you know, you're just going to have to try to focus in on it. You know, I've got tons of stuff in the background, but, you know, here's the tripod that I'm using. Here is the bracket that is on the tripod. The arm is down into the bracket and it comes out and it holds this as well as the camera which is hanging right here and then of course the uh, mirror that's up there and you know as you can see where I'm standing you know I can I can get down and I can I can see the viewfinder you know and this is this is way up there I mean the camera's probably at eye level with me but you know I can drive this thing up you know uh, sorry about the the deal here but you know now it's probably about six and a half feet up off the ground you know and I can still move the mirror and see what I'm doing as well as you know articulate the camera and move it you know anywhere I want to uh, as well as you know pivot here to swing it away from me bring it back you know so I get I get a lot of mobility in this and in a range of motion better than what I I had been using and I'll show that what I'd had been using uh, originally you know I have one of those magnifying mirrors same principle uh, you know mounted on my desk here and uh, it's kind of hard to see but let me swing it out you know this is a, a another thing that I had made and the camera actually mounted right here uh, and this turns back and forth and you can go this way and and that's all fine you know but like I said it was really hard to try to get shots you know over over my head uh, so now you know as as it stands with this you know I can drive it all the way up here and you know I'm literally underneath it right now looking up at my camera so 
you know, this is really going to help me out a bunch. And, uh, you know, especially when I'm shooting, you know, over there at my lathe, uh, you know, I had, I had the same rig here mounted over there on that particular light, you know, but I was picking up a lot of sound, you know, cause it's connected to the actual bench, you know, the cabinet where the lathe is. And I was picking up a big roar and a hum, you know, so now I have this segregated and it should work out well. Uh, sorry about the bad video here. You know, this is. Is like I said, you know, being shot by my camera, uh, my phone, you know, and if somebody has a, you know, a, uh, a heavier camera, they make larger ones of these, uh, uh, whatever they're called here. I can't, I can't recall right now, but these items here, they make some really big ones, you know. So if you have a heavier camera, you may be able to still pull this off. So, you know, it's just another idea on what you guys can do on the cheap. You know, I don't really have a cost on this, but I already have the light. But if I had to guess, you know, I've got, you know, maybe $15 in it at the most. So thanks for watching and good luck.